Design Speed and I'm located in our Dino Cell in Northern Indiana. Today we want to take a look at the HO Vortex Supercharger System that's now available for the 5 liter Coyote Mustang. Vortex rates this kit at a stellar 605 flywheel horsepower on 91 octane fuel on otherwise bone stock Mustang. Our plan today is a dyno test this kit as the ship from Vortex. Then we're going to install our Brent Speed Custom 93 octane computer calibration and dyno the car again. We'll view the data and then we're going to install a JLT 110 millimeter cold air intake. But first, let's go over to the Mustang and check out this kit from Vortec. This kit, as shipped from Vortec, is very complete. You get your choice of a black, satin, or polished head unit for your car show fanatics, fuel injectors, a huge air to air intercooler, an SCT programmer loaded with a Vortec computer calibration to get you up and running. Introducing one of our test cars 2011 Mustang 5 liter with a manual transmission. This Mustang put down 365 rear-wheel horsepower the day we purchased it. We then fitted the Stang with a set of Cook's headers, high flow headed H-pipe, and picked up another 25 rear-wheel horsepower. With this Vortec kit rated at 605 flywheel horsepower on a bone stock Mustang, making 530 to the wheel shouldn't be a problem with the addition of the free-flowing exhaust we had. Let's warm this Coyote up and see how the base Vortec kit performs. Okay, we just made two back-to-back -back pulls on this Mustang. We brought the engine coolant temp up to 195 degrees Fahrenheit. Intake air temps are sitting right around 60 degrees. Both back-to-back -back pulls made 537 rear-wheel horsepower and over 450 foot-pounds of torque. 537 rear-wheel horsepower is right around 630 at the flywheel. This is really good results because that falls in lines of Vortex claims. Take into account, we already added a free-flowing exhaust system. Now we're going to add our Brent Speed 93 octane calibration and see what kind of power this car makes to the wheels. Okay, we just made two back-to-back -back pulls with our Brent Speed 93 octane calibration. Now we also have 91 octane calibrations available that are about 15 less rear-wheel horsepower than what you see today. It's been about 10 minutes since our prior pulls. Intake temps are up to about 80 degrees Fahrenheit, but we still have great results. The two major differences you're going to see in our calibrations versus a calibration available from the manufacturer is that light throttle and at uh, part throttle are going to have much faster throttle response. Also, your big power gains are going to come in above 4,500 RPMs. As you can see on these graphs right here, our calibration made 586 rear-wheel horsepower and 472 foot-pounds of torque on the first pull. We backed it up with a second pull at 565 rear-wheel horsepower and 465 foot-pounds of torque. 586 rear-wheel horsepower, that's roughly 689 at the flywheel. Now if that's not enough horsepower to get your blood moving, we're going to install a JLT 110 millimeter cold air intake to replace the factory air box to see how much power that makes. Before we install this JLT 110 millimeter intake on this Mustang, I want to show you the major difference between that intake and what's found on your car from the factory. This is the Ford cold air induction system that came on your car. It measures roughly 85 millimeters and all the air has to enter through this small rectangular hole found on the bottom. Now the JLT 110 measures 110 millimeters, roughly 25 millimeters larger than what you have right now and a huge 9 inch cone filter. Not only should this intake pick up more power, but at least another pound of boost. We 
just made two more pulls with the JLT 110 millimeter cold air intake and the results were amazing. We made 619 real horsepower, 491 foot-pounds of torque. Backed it up with a second run, 601 real horsepower, and 484 foot-pounds of torque. Now that's a gain of 33 real horsepower versus the factory air intake system. The 85 millimeter cold air intake proved to be very restrictive. The JLT 110 allowed power to come in at 4,000 RPMs and increase all the way across the board. We're currently setting at 619 real horsepower. That's roughly 728 at the flywheel. So now that all the dyno testing is complete, we're gonna pull this Mustang into our installation facility and review all the data we found today. Vortec HO supercharger system proves to be very powerful out of the box, laying down 537 rural horsepower. With the addition of our Brent Speed calibration and the JLT 110mm cold air intake, we've upped that power to 619. Our packages available on BrentSpeed.com are also going to include a set of one-step colder spark plugs and a fuel pump upgrade because you're starting to push the limits of the factory fuel system making over 600 of the wheels. On a scale of 1 to 10, I'd rate this kit at a 7. From a drivability standpoint, it's not quite as nice as some of the TVS superchargers we offer. Installation is a little bit more difficult as well. Now from a power standpoint, this kit is capable of putting out about anything the factory engine is capable of handling. Now if you like this video and want to watch more cool videos about Bren Speed packages, check out www.brenspeed.com videos or pick up the phone give us a call 574-594 9559. We can answer any of your questions, tell you about the free stay at our Brent Speed Guest House, or give you a quote on installation. Thanks for watching.